going on guys moose 78 with another american truck sim video this of course is my let's play series stories from the road upload this every tuesday and thursday hope you're all having a fantastic day by the way and uh kind of continuing with this week's theme of kind of mixing it up a little bit we're in a different truck today this is the peterbilt 377 let's take a quick look around uh pretty stock just downloaded this the other day have not done anything to it yet take a look at the interior uh, this is the one that uh, John aka Cascadia did for 18 wheels of steel haul on it uh, has been converted over looks pretty good to adjust my seat just a little bit though because I feel like I am sitting on the floor There we go. Should be good. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. Today, we're doing another contracted run. Got a container to pick up over here. Got about 40 minutes to pick it up, so we better uh, get on it. Going up to Oxnard. Let's get out here, get our trailer picked up. So it's kind of weird looking down at the uh, small, small uh, GPS there. That'll take some getting used to. And also not having all the uh, I guess the onboard uh, computer stuff telling you, uh, you know, what gear and stuff like that you're in, but. That should not be a problem. Yeah, really, really uh, like this uh, 377. down in the basement there so I might fix this up and uh, make this the daily driver I don't know what do you guys think you guys ready for me to change out the truck been driving the W9 for uh, quite a while now thing just looks really nice and clean though really really like it I like how it's got like the uh, half skirt look so you can see the tanks so 42 print should be right here Here we are. I don't know that I've really ever uh, picked up at one of these places. And I know I've definitely not uh, picked up at this one before. I can tell you that much right now. I see the thing back there telling me where the trailer is at, but I'm just not really seeing the trailer yet. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. It's not too bad. I've seen those two trucks there, and I'm like, holy crap, how tight is this yard? Just get turned around here, get lined up, and... See if we can't nail this on the first attempt. four ways on there the 
Looks like we're pretty well lined up. Uh, not so much though. Dead gummit. Dead gummit. That looks a lot better. This will pull up a little bit then. We'll take a look at it. There we go. Make sure we're clearing everything. Oh, yeah, we're good there. Good there. Yeah, they got the big old 53-foot container in game. Not pulled it yet, so, yeah. We'll really mix it up today, I guess. Get out here and head for Oxnard. And this yard is tight, tight, tight. You know, that's something we talked about uh, yesterday in the rescale video was just how tight most of the yards are in this game. Kind of ridiculous. I don't mind a little bit of a challenge every once in a while, but, uh, you know, a lot of the yards here in the U.S., you know, especially a lot of, um, you know, your freight terminals, your distribution centers, you know, they're engineered and designed to accommodate large trucks and a lot of large trucks. Sure, I missed that uh, pull back there. There we go. I do like this truck though. I drove uh, John's uh, 99 Peter Belt quite a bit in Holland. So I'm definitely uh, really liking uh, you know having this interior again. Looks amazing in ATS. better there. No, he really uh, prides himself on his work, and uh, this is definitely definitely some of his better work. This thing just, like I said, looks amazing in American trucks. Um, Go. 
get my turn and corner game back on point there. Hop out here in a second and take a look. Truck on the outside view on the interstate. Looks good. Look a lot better if I get back on the road. Ah, ah. That's why I don't go outside and I get a speedy ticket. Well, hot damn. Hot damn. That's what I get. <laughs> That's okay, though. I'll get the cruise control on here in a second, and uh, we'll do that again. Way station coming up, but it is just a little rest area. So, man, I need to watch myself here. Get this thing right back up to 65 in no time. What is traffic doing up here? There we go. Grab that screenshot for the thumbnail. Stayed on the road that time, so that's a lot better. And I don't know, guys, I am really thinking about turning this thing into the uh, daily driver. Or converting it using this kind of as the base and convert over uh, the 99 Peterbilt that I uh, modified that John released a while back there for Holland. But I don't know. This is uh, never used a 377 in game. So I uh, might do that. Kind of mix it up a little bit. I mean, everyone uh, uses the uh, Viper 2 uh, 379. It's call it a 389 but it's not a 389 it's a 379 a lot of people use that and that's just kind of been uh kind of been the standard for the community for a long time as everyone just uses a peterbilt 379 a few people have actually uh, made a proper 389 not a whole lot of people use uh stuff like this though but i really really do like this truck it's nice and clean you know, that's kind of the kind of the look I always try to go for when I mod my trucks. It's just a nice, clean, basic look. I don't like to get them overdone or anything like that. You know, try to make it look as realistic as possible. You know, something you would see, you know, driving up and down the road every day. No flashy paint job, not a whole lot of lights. So the W900 is probably the most lights that I put on a truck. It's got the uh, panel lights on the side. It's got roof lights on the cab and the sleeper then I got some uh, lights on the back of the sleeper then the uh, light bar and of course the breather lights for this probably about the only thing I would do is maybe put some roof lights on it maybe some air horns and then uh, like a two-piece light bar and that'd be about it it's about all of the I you know for me that's about all I would really need this thing is just super super clean though so yeah, could be a could be a coming, could be a change. I've not done a whole lot of modding you know, for the last couple of months. Uh, there is a couple things I need to get done and get the uh, get the W. Easy for me to say. Need to get the W900 cleaned up and get that out to you guys. I know I said that a while back. Haven't done that yet. Want to do that? Still want to get that out and uh, share that with y'all. love the interior on this thing. Man.
And it's just so clean on the outside, too. You know, the wheelbase isn't crazy long. It's not super short, but, you know, not crazy long. Sorry. Get back in the cab so I don't kill you. You know, it's a little bit old school. It's around a 99, 2000, so... You know, back in the day, you know, I always thought this truck was, like, one of the ugliest looking trucks on the road. You know, I didn't like, uh, the, uh, at least for its time, the aerodynamic kind of look to it. But nowadays, uh, you know, you clean one of these up and it's a pretty sharp looking truck. You know, pretty unique, too, because you don't see a whole lot of these out on the road nowadays. And if you do, nine times out of ten... pretty roached out. Go, 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 go. Easy AI in this game. It's been kind of nice the last couple runs, though. Got to uh, some places in California that I don't typically go to. Of course, we just left uh, San Diego, but uh, we delivered to Carlsbad. Now we're getting up to Oxnard. Man, I watch myself in this thing. Cruise reset there. So I'm probably I'm probably gonna get a speeding ticket even with that, but uh, we'll, we'll chance it. Chance it just a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. But I uh, don't know if I'll put any panel lights on this or not. I don't know. And I'm actually seeing the uh, destination blip there on the Mini. Nice little quick run for us. Decent approach on the ramp. Back down to the basement so we don't kill it.
think this is where we're delivering to right up here, up at Sell Goods. Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. Yeah, right up here. Boy. This could be interesting trying to get this big old thing backed in here. Oxnard discovered. Why, hello, Oxnard. And a lot of traffic in here, too. That looks like they want it at one of the first ones. Well, let's give it a go. What's the worst that can happen, right? Holy damn. should have looked first. It's like 10 different kinds of insane. Good golly. Good golly. Up lined up here. Hang out the door. This might not be all that bad. I do it like this. I think I waited too long to kind of cut that back. Yeah, I think I waited way too long to cut that back. Should be that should be a lot lot better. Eh, not so bad. Not so bad after all. I guess we got got lucky and got a good beta back into. So that definitely helps. We gotta get this thing on the second try. And is that actually gonna be kind of straight? Hot? No. Wow, look at that. What is this sorcery? That's kind of a little bit crooked, but uh, better than I typically do, so we will take it. All right. Excellent. Well, guys, that is going to wrap it up for another episode of Stories from the Road. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please give it a like and share. It just helps me out a bunch. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But, guys, I'm going to cut on out of here. Until the next one, stay safe out there. Take care, and we'll be seeing you. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.